Welcome back to the Frith Guild Podcast. I'm your host, Eric. And I'm co-host, Scott. And today we'll be going over chapters 26 through 30 of World Serpent Arcanus. Before we get started, I want to remind everybody that the second bestiary will be, the Kickstarter will be going on right now as we are talking. I believe the end date for that is October the 22nd of 2024. And if anybody would like to jump on that Kickstarter, I know Shami did also say that there's enough people that do the Kickstarter that she'll send out everybody a nickel and Rizzle plushie. So I want nickel and Rizzle plushie. I know Scott. You... I don't think it needs to be said. Like I want my own little Rizzle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I mean, if we get enough, there's even a lose their plushie. So like there, there are possibilities here. So, and if you did not get the first beast year, you can order it through the second uh, Kickstarter as well. So you're not missing out on a book in the. That does bring us to chapter 27, which is the rooftop duel. So we do get to see Super Saiyan Akiva come out. So he has the aura, which everyone in the town that had been dying essentially adds to his power. Even Tide is trying to protect not only herself, but the rest of the town with barriers. She's even kind of like got this, I, I don't know, sumo wrestler pose, like strong. She's charging herself up too. And I only got to say is I hope that it doesn't take three episodes to get through her charging up. <laughs> yes, that's kind of how it feels like it. Like, can we just see them go at each other? Like, I really want to see even Todd just go full Super Saiyan. Volk has this flashback to the Grandmaster dying from the Venom, so he kind of understands, like, literal one drop of, of Venom touches Eventide and she's dead. Luther is urging Volk not to fight, essentially like, hey, you've kind of been up all night, you've kind of done a lot of fighting before, it's kind of Akiva, like, you probably shouldn't do this, it's not going to end well. Volk doesn't listen. Akiva throws... <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise. Volk doesn't listen. <laughs> Akiva evokes Venna at him, and Volk is barely able to dodge out of the way. And then Volk does try to evoke his terrors back at Akiva, but it really has no effect on him. And I'm not sure if there's, like, a legit immunity that Akiva may have, maybe a trinket or something to mind-altering magics, but Akiva isn't affected by this whatsoever. And he can't be plague-ridden, so... Yeah, like you said, it might be a trinket. He may maybe just practice. He built up his immunity. It could be, you know, the way he trains, it wouldn't surprise me. So it's tough to know what's going on there. Zelfry does run up and join the battle. He has mimicked into a nightmare. So he essentially urges Volk to create an aura under the strategy of, hey, if it's full darkness, that's the one time they would have the advantage over Akiva. Volk does create it, but he does it wrong. So he's in a lot of pain. He can't really hold it. He ends up just giving Zelfry retribution as like, hey, take the magical, <laughs> take the magical weapon and go fight for me. Zelfry is able to get a slice in and kind of hurt Akiva, but he almost gets touched in the process and Volk ends up having to use the shadows to save him, drops the aura, and then Rise comes in and, and saves Akiva. So unfortunately, they're able to get kind of a nick and a scratch in, but no real damage. Ah... Uh... So close. So close. I know. We, we end off with Rise, Meatbag, Akiva, all living and, and no worse for the wear. And it's always that last second just Rise comes in and teleports him out of danger. Like, dang it. Like, he's smart. All right. With that, we're going to end this week's episode. We do also want to thank everybody for listening. Just a quick reminder, we have a few dates as far as releases go. So again, Labyrinth Arcanus will be releasing December 10th of 2024. Again, the second Kickstarter begins September 25th, and then it will run through October 21st. So just to remember that, again, if you didn't get the first book in the bestiary, you're still able to get it now. And I want the nickel and plushies. Buy your Kickstarters. So. <laughs> right. Do it for the plushie. Sorry, Shammy. <laughs> Love the book. <laughs> I want the plushie. Eric, Scott, and I want to thank everyone for listening today. We post a new episode every Wednesday morning at 11 Eastern, 10 Central, and 8 Pacific Standard Time. We are on all podcasting platforms and are also on YouTube as well for video. After the additional episode airs, we post chapter-by-chapter -chapter videos every day in a smaller, easier-to-digest format. 
We do want to give a special shout out to the final member of our team, Dan Mackison, one of the admins for the Frith Chronicles wiki, link listed below, and doing his best to keep everything running smoothly behind the scenes. If you want to reach out to us, you could email us at frithguildpod at gmail.com or on Facebook or any other social media by searching for Frith Guild Podcast. Just to remind everybody, we have links to everything in the description below on both the podcast and YouTube. Scott, do you have anything else you want to add this week? No, just looking forward to, to diving into Nexus games. Thank you all for listening. Let's catch you next week.